with with whatever series you want, honestly. But we can just start off straight at the top. Um, the Blazers are basically done. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, Dame, you know, we talked about it last week. Damian Lillard has been carrying this team on his back for so long. The entire the entire restart, really. And now it's it's done, man. He's hurt, and they don't think he's going to be back. What was your what are your what are your reactions to that whole situation down there in LA? I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I mean, we talked about it on the podcast. We have it on audio. I'm like, how long can he do it? You know, and <laughs> not as long as he thought he could. But they put up a good fight. You know, no uh, no hate over that. I mean, uh, you know, splendid performance. I mean, they they fought for it. They got in there. They they took a game. I mean, it seemed like it could happen for a second. Obviously, don't discredit that at all. I mean, that was a that was impressive. I mean, they had us thinking there, you know, they might do it. But at the same time, LeBron James rallied back, and he's like, yep, I'm LeBron James, so don't even question it either. Um, you know, th- I mean, that's that's the end of it. I mean, uh, you know, shout out to the Lakers for, you know, doing a 4-1. I mean, not, you know, it, it, probably in expected fashion from what we would regularly think, but uh, it didn't seem like that after game one. You know, we we had some uh, some big question marks after that. Yeah, and, you know, full props to him, but I said it, yeah, I said it um, whenever I was giving my predictions for the series. I was like, either this is going to be an Iverson sweep, Blazers take game one after, after uh, an amazing performance by Dame, or the Blazers are going to continue their success and they're going to take it in seven. I like, I didn't see any other way. It's either Lakers in five or Blazers in seven. That was it. I didn't see a, a situation where there's a sweep, and I also didn't see this a situation where the Blazers just dominate and they get him out of there in six or something like that. And that's exactly what it's going to be. Um, CJ has a broke back. He's going to play, I assume, for the next game. Nurkic, like, he looks dead. And he was coming off a broken leg or something heading into this. He had a really bad leg injury. I don't know if it was broken, but he had a bad leg injury heading into this uh, series. Um, coming in, Actually coming off of uh, the actual NBA season, heading into the restart. So he's back. But he looks dead tired, and so does McCollum, and so does that entire squad. Um, I, I assume Ellie's going to get him out of there. You know, relatively soon, whenever whenever the next game is played, which I believe would be Friday. Um, and then we can move on to the next 